delegates, respected chief guest, I present unto you the graduates in person in the Master of Business Administration who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of Periyar University, Salem. I call upon Mr. B. S. Abhijit to come and get this degree certificate. Mr. R. Anantaraman. C. Bhaskaran. C. Bhutan. K. Anjaya. Yes, A month. Yam Aishwarya Divya. Yam Aishwarya Divya. K. Jai Prakash. P. Jasinda Malraj, K. Jaskash, P. Jasinda Malraj, Hari Kartikeya, N. Kartikeya, J. Kavita, M. Kishore, V. Nitish Kumar, Three most important skills, sir: entrepreneurship, communication, and use of modern tools and technologies. Employers, universities, and professional bodies agree that we need to develop professionals who are highly skilled and ready to face the challenges of increased competition. More than ever, we need professionals who are responsive to economic, social, cultural, technical, and environmental change and can work flexibility and intelligently across business contexts. The industry requires new graduates to understand the part they play in building their organizations and have the practical skills to work effectively in their roles. However, really contributing in the workplace means more than having the necessary technical skills. It means engaging with the organization and its goals, understanding. We used to say that education is the foundation of perfection already in mind. We are all powerful and we can do everything. This code inspires us to upgrade ourselves continuously through solving real life problems by applying the knowledge gained in the classroom lectures. Therefore, students, to be successful in your career, you have to develop all required skills so as to grab the opportunity when it comes to you on your way. Your degree is not a guarantee of advanced level entry into environment. Your future career depends not only on your specialist knowledge but also on your skills and abilities and your ability to reorganize and argue these two employers. We are fortunate in the sense that despite growing investment in education, more than 25% of population in India is still in the trade.